Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The British Ministry of Defense, MOD, and the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory, DSTL, have accomplished a significant feat by conducting a successful test firing of the country's inaugural high-power laser weapon, named Dragon Fire, marking a notable advancement in defense capabilities. Installed on the sturdy Wolfhound 6x6 armored vehicle, this state-of-the-art weapon system showcased its precision and potency by engaging aerial threats during a demonstration. The Endeavor, known as the Dragon Fire Laser Directed Energy Weapon, LDEW, program, is led by DSTL in collaboration with major industry players on behalf of the British MOD. This initiative employs a concentrated beam of light to eliminate threats, offering a cost-effective and efficient alternative to traditional ammunition. With a forward-looking perspective, this technology holds promise in countering hostile unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, providing a sustainable solution for defense operations. The Wolfhound 6x6 armored vehicle, an integral part of the British Army's logistics fleet, is engineered to provide both protection and versatility on the battlefield. As a component of the Tactical Support Vehicle, TSV, program, the Wolfhound is designed to offer logistical support to frontline troops, capable of transporting various cargo types under the shield of its armored structure. Its robust blast protection against mines and improvised explosive devices, IEDs, renders it indispensable in maintaining supply chains and facilitating operations in hostile environments. Featuring a 6x6 wheel drive, the Wolfhound excels in navigating challenging terrains, ensuring timely delivery of equipment and supplies to troops regardless of terrain difficulties. In addition to its logistical prowess, the Wolfhound has been adapted to fulfill diverse roles within the British Army, including serving as a platform for cutting-edge technology systems such as the recently trialed high-power laser weapons. Its resilient design allows for the integration of sophisticated equipment, positioning it as an ideal candidate for experimental defense projects and enhancing its effectiveness on the modern battlefield. The vehicle's adaptability, coupled with its proven reliability and protection, underscores its significance to the British Army as a versatile asset capable of meeting a wide spectrum of operational requirements. Raytheon UK has played a pivotal role in this technological advancement by introducing its high-energy laser weapon system to the UK. Collaborating with a consortium of British suppliers, including Fraser Nash, NP Aerospace, Lum Optica, Blighter Surveillance Systems, and Cambridge Pixel, Raytheon's 15-kilowatt laser system has been integrated into the MODS Land Demonstrator program. Currently undergoing installation on a UK Wolfhound armored vehicle, the system will undergo user experimentation by the MOD. Situated in Coventry at NP Aerospace, the system's integration encompasses a radar from blighter surveillance systems and a command and control framework developed by Raytheon UK in Harlow. Following drone tracking trials, the system will proceed to DSTL Porton down for a live-fire system acceptance test before being deployed with the British Army in September for further experimentation. Raytheon UK's laser system boasts versatility and portability, capable of being mounted on various platforms and interfacing with other air defense systems as per operational requirements. To date, eight high-energy laser weapons have been supplied to the U.S. military, proving effective against over 400 targets during 25,000 operational hours. The successful integration in Coventry and the live-fire tests of the Dragon Fire program underscore the practicality and efficacy of laser technology in modern defense strategies. This achievement represents the realization of long-standing aspirations within the defense industry to leverage laser-directed energy weapons. The collaborative efforts between industry stakeholders and the MOD are facilitating the transition of this groundbreaking technology from laboratory settings to real-world military applications, heralding a new era in defense technology and strategic capabilities. That's all for now. See you later.